day 67 this morning I was horrified to find that the human rights of I, Anders Breivik, were being spat upon by my wicked captors. <sighs> the story begins. This morning I was trying, in a reasonable manner, to speak to my guard about my plans for a European super state run solely for the purpose and advancement of the Aryan race. My guard, Mohammed El Mustafa, was not forthcoming to my views and upon me saying that he would be expelled from my super state, he made a strange braying sound with his lips in, in the manner of perhaps of a horse. I, I will try to attempt it for posterity so that it may be marked that this noise was made in my presence. I think it was... Yes, that. A gesture of extreme contempt and breaking every fathomable human law about the freedom of speech and expression. Later, I was trying to shave my trademark chin strap beard, which makes my powerful Aryan features more easily defined when a second guard decided to say to me I can see the straps but where is your bike helmet for a second I looked up to check where my bike helmet was and he laughed and it was at this point that I realized he was mocking my beard trying to undermine my revolutionary self-consciousness. Well, we shall see who will have the last laugh here. For today, I am penning my 35th letter to the governor of this prison to tell him about the obscene torture that I am undergoing at the hands of my merciless captors. The world will know the suffering of Anders Breivik and then, then the people will rise in the streets and say, release Anders Breivik, yes, give him things that he likes, like perhaps licorice or uh, a European super state with Anders Breivik at the head, yes, then we will see. Yes, we will see. Transmission ends. Where is the stop button? No, wait, wait, wait. Trans transmission ends.